welcome to my home, friend. Welcome to this place that we have named a gathering space in my house. It feels fitting that this is the place where we are going to open God's Word together and we are going to study the women of the Bible over the next few weeks. This furniture you see that I'm sitting on belonged to my grandmother and you're going to learn about her in the pages of Holy Mess and her devotion to the Lord. And so it feels fitting that we're going to be here together, that we're going to study God's Word together because this is the place I love to invite women into my home and share a cup of coffee and talk about the gospel with them. When I wrote down the idea for Holy Mess a few years ago, I had no idea how God would use it in my own life. I had no idea that God would turn it into a book and Bible study and now video for you. And when I wrote this idea down, I wrote it down for you. But God has used every word for me. He's used every word in my life to teach me what it really means to be a woman radically changed by the gospel. I think Paul says it best when he says this saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost. I think what gave Paul so much credit was his testimony of how God radically changed his life how the gospel radically transformed him from a murderer to a life saver. My testimony is the same. I can say these things. I can sit here. I can talk to you about the gospel. I can tell you about Jesus because he has done the work in me. He has radically changed my life. I don't share my stories with you in the pages of the book and the Bible study to entertain you. I share them with you that you too may taste freedom and come to know Christ. That you too will see how God can change your life. No matter where you are right now, no matter what you're going through, God will meet you in it. And He can do hard things alongside of you. God is not asking you to be perfect, to have it all together, to have it all figured out. He is asking you to bring your mess, the worst of the worst, to bring your baggage, to bring the things that are weighing you down to the table so that he can change them, that he can remove them, that he can forgive them, that he can use them for his holy purpose and for his glory. That mess you carry every day, he doesn't want you to carry it any longer. He wants you to bring it to the table. He wants to meet you there with the gospel. Even the messes that you feel are, need to be hidden away from sight, even the messes that you are too afraid to share with the people around you, he says, bring it all to me. When you surrender your mess, God will redeem you as his daughter. He will give you a holy name. He will right every wrong and restore your life. We don't have to carry messes anymore. Even on mundane Mondays, when it's all falling apart, Christ wants to meet you there. I invite you in, my friend. Come to the table, meet Christ there, and watch as He transforms your life.